Hi, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and today I want to show you guys how to use the um, Persona Studio Live 32 SC to control Pro Tools. Alright, so basically, um, when you have your, uh, your Studio Live uh, connected to your computer, there is a program that opens up every time before you open up your session. Um, and that is going to allow you to uh, view the, um, the console inside of your computer. That sets up um, some routing on this console uh, for um, Huey support and Pro Tools. So when you go to Pro Tools, you want to go to Setup, Peripherals, and you want to go to MIDI controllers. And you want to make sure that the Huey is the type that you select and that the receive from is the uh, UC Net MIDI Studio Live 32 SC main. And that's going to be your receive from and your send to. And you want to have eight channels selected there. You want to do through number two, Huey again. You want to again make sure this time you have the um, external one for, as selected for both the receive and send and eight again. Now what that does is that allows the Studio Live to control Pro Tools through Huey. All right, so. Once that's set up and you've got your session opened up, you're going to go inside the Studio Live to your UCNet, which is what you just set up in Pro Tools. You're going to go to your Huey Control Emulation and you're going to select Pro Tools. Now you'll also notice right here we've got Mackie Control that you can set up for Logic. And then again Pro Tools. And then once you've got that selected, you're going to hit DAW. This is the DAW button right here. And there we go. Our session is now populated on the controller. And anything, uh, any moves I make on the on my console will be replicated inside the doll. So um, if I take my drum and I move it down, you'll see inside of Pro Tools it just went down as well. So take that back up to where it was. All right, and in a previous video, we showed how to use um, routing folders. So, again, th this is going to mimic everything that's in the console. Right now, we, our buses are all that's showing. So, we've got our drum, our bass, our orchestra, our synth, our vocal, and our guitar uh, and guitar lead and vocal buses. All right, so if I open a folder, we're going to notice on the console. Everything shifted over one because I have one drum track that's inside my drum folder. If I open my bass folder, everything shifts over again. Now here's my bass track. One more, my orchestral bus. Everything shifts over to compensate or, or to allow everything inside my or, or, or orchestra bus to show. My synth bus. Everything shifts over one for my synth track and my vocals. Everything shifts over again to allow my vocals to, to, to then be shown. I can hit my next button here and that is then going to open to our next page of tracks. So we have more vocals here. I can go to my guitar bus. Everything shifts over as my guitar tracks are now populated on the console and so on and so forth so and then if I close something then we're back to where we were when the folder was closed so this is a truly um, great way to work if you have a, um, a console that you uh, that you're, you're working in and it's Let's say it's analog, it doesn't interface with Pro Tools or whatever, but you want to be able to use that kind of mixing 
uh, you don't want to do the mouse click and keyboard uh, the studio live series consoles are they work both with logic pro tools and obviously studio one and um they they are a, a true control surface for your sessions inside of pro tools um you can do effects you can actually use this to control uh recording um you can have it to uh to do um other midi uh, uh uh, controls that you can set mi through MIDI Learn, so it's a very powerful um, uh, MIDI controller that that can take Huey uh, support in Pro Tools and really open the doll up on this console. Uh, one of the best parts about it is that um, it, it also is an interface, so you, you're able to record into it into your into your doll as well as mix on it so it is truly the best of both worlds opening up and then in my studio i have the soundcraft console which allows me to run all of my mix back through the console for analog summing when i'm done or printing stems or whatever however i want to do it i've got the analog feature of of the soundcraft that i'm able to go to go back on when i'm done mixing in the box that really makes it um, a true hybrid experience. Uh, one of the best facets for me of the Studio Live console, working with it in Pro Tools and in Logic and in Studio One, is it really makes the mixing process very immersive. Um, it almost puts feels like it puts me inside of the mix, um, which I was never able to really do on the Soundcraft. Not taking anything away from the Soundcraft console at all. It is an awesome uh, console and it does a, a great thing at what it was designed to do. But the Studio Live opens it opens up the computer it, it opens the computer back up to me where there's no disconnect. I feel like once I turn the computer on, I am mixing. I'm not waiting. I'm not having to reset anything. It literally repopulates my mix onto my console and I am mixing right from where I left off previously even if it was three songs since you know uh, in between uh, have been mixed I open it up hit doll button the doll button and the mix populates just the way it was all right um if any of this interests you and you're you want more information uh, just leave a comment uh, below and uh, and I will get back to you as soon as I can, or you can email me, bbuck822 at gmail.com. Um, I really think this is an awesome uh, way uh, to open up hybrid mixing in, in your studio. Uh, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a Soundcraft console. I'm sorry, a, a Studio Live console by, um, by Personas. But there are other consoles out there that, that, that do implement the Huey protocol which is what Pro Tools uses, and it's a great, fantastic way to get um, MIDI control or control surface from Pro Tools, but not being sort of stuck with having these Pro Tools. Again, this will work with Logic. Um, it will work with uh, Studio One. I am told that it will work with other dolls, although I have not tried another doll, so I don't want to say, oh yeah, this will work in Cubase, or oh, this will work in Ableton Live. I don't know that. I don't. I don't use those those dolls, so I don't want to sit here and tell you that it will work. I know what it has worked on in my studio: Pro Tools, Logic, and Studio One. I use all three of those of those dolls, and this uh, uh, mixer you can, can can work well in all of them. So um, uh, that's it for today, you guys. I hope you're all all healthy and staying safe, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye bye now.